1987, a historic general election took place in which the UK elected its first black members of parliament. They were Bernie Grant in Tottenham, Paul Burteng in Brent South, and in Hackney North and Stoke Newington, there was 33-year-old Diane Julie Abbott. Does it say Diane Julie Abbott yes. has been duly... So a very good vote there for Labour, Diane Abbott. Making her the UK's first black woman MP. But this was not the first time that Diane had stood out from her peers. At Harrow County School for Girls, Abbott was the only black girl in her class. And despite attempts by teachers to dissuade her from applying, upon being accepted into Cambridge to study history, she was the only black British student from a state school in the entire university. She is now the longest serving black MP in the House of Commons. But this hasn't come without its moments such as the infamous Mojito Gate, where she publicly apologised after an image surfaced of her drinking an m and Mojito can on the train, technically breaking the law. Subsequently leading to m and Mojito cans selling out all over the country. But there have been far more serious incidents involving Diane Abbott. Following her election in 1987, a brick was thrown through the office window of her local party as well as fellow Labour Party members leaking information to Michael Crick, a Channel 4 news reporter, that she was crying in a restaurant toilet, and a lot of online abuse. So much so that a 2017 investigation into which women politicians receive the most abuse online omitted her from the findings as the disproportionate amount of abuse she received skewed the results. Diane Abbott received almost half of all abusive tweets in the run-up to the 2017 election, nearly 10 times more than any other woman MP. But that same 2017 election, Abbott won her biggest ever majority in Hackney North and Stoke Newington, getting 75% of the vote. And in 2019, she got over 70% of the vote. Her constituents have always massively supported her. For the last nine general elections, only twice has she received less than half of the total votes, largely for all she has done for her constituency. The London Borough of Hackney is today a national leader in schooling, but in 2002, less than a third of students received five or more GCSE a star to C grades. But in just 12 years, that figure rose to 61%, above the national average, possible through investment into brand new schools, such as Mossbourne Academy and the City Academy. Not rebranded failing schools, but new schools, built to the highest architectural and design standards, flagship schools of which the whole community could be proud. Abbott is also the founder of the London Schools and the Black Child Initiative, which aims to primarily tackle exclusion rates and low attainment levels amongst black children in order to raise educational achievement. Hackney also became London's most livable borough. No other London borough has undertaken so many transport, street and urban design interventions that are so focused on creating a livable and active borough as Hackney has. More residents cycle to work in Hackney than any London borough, and it has the highest ratio of female to male cyclists, as well as new and improved London overground lines to enhance transport links throughout the area. This is all further strengthened by her work in Parliament, where her policy priorities, though broad, have been focused on police reform and anti-racism. In 1992, she delivered a speech standing up for the black and minority ethnic NHS workers who helped build our health service. In 2008, her speech in opposition of proposals for a 42-day 
pre-charge detention, where terror suspects could be detained for up to 42 days without actual charge, won the Spectator magazine's Parliamentary Speech of the Year Award, and she received further recognition at the 2008 Human Rights Awards for her brilliant advocacy in defence of women's right to abortion in Northern Ireland. When discussing the importance of having people of colour in senior positions, she stated, you can't be what you can't see. The fact young people have been able to see black and brown people as members of parliament helps them to think that they could do it too. Diane Abbott shattered the proverbial glass ceiling and regardless of whether you agree with her on all fronts, her influence for many people in Britain is unequivocal.